With the Warriors and St. Catharines A's coming into play with identical records at this early point in the season, Graydon Hogg with the first two goals of the game, but a lot of credit here for Devin Pfeiffer doing the work on this one. Gets it to Dyson Williams to Hogg, who beats Nick Denou to make it 2 to nothing. A's strike back with two of their own, both off the stick from Carter Zavitz. This is his second, and it's a massive bomb that's going to zip past Brett Dobson. We're tied at two. Late first period, Warriors with an extra attacker. Parker Pfeiffer pulls the trigger just ahead of the buzzer. A 4-2 Whippy, and that one coming with just a single tick left on the clock. Parker with the late first period goal. Devin with the early second period marker with two defenders closing in. Gets the shot off, and it's a 5-2 lead. That is followed closely by Ian McKinnon and Josh Jacobs absolutely throwing here. Needless to say, they both got fighting majors and their nights are over. A's looking for a spark, but Whitby gets the next goal. Dyson Williams, who knows a thing or two about the score sheet, that's set up nicely by Devin Piper. Athletics pressing, great chance from in close, but Dobson coming up big. More from him in a bit, but they won't go away. Less than a minute later after Ryan Barnable made it 7-3, Zavitz gets his hat trick goal. But within spitting distance, Warriors lead by three. Whitby answers that. Ben Utrosa has Tyler Eames with him, keeps and scores. That's another late period goal for the Warriors. Into the third now, Devin Pfeiffer showing his play isn't all just offense, gets up and hustles to break up a scoring chance, but they'll make the next one count. Pete Reinlich, and I'm probably saying that wrong, apologies, but what I'm not wrong about is the A's score, and it's his first, it's 8-6. Shorthanded Latrell Harris, 18 games with the Toronto Rock this season. In alone by Dobson, who wins this battle. Huge moment to keep it a two-goal lead. Won't stay that way for long. Hog over to Will Carnduff. Back of the net, they're going to collect that ball because it is Carnduff's first junior A goal. Final minute of play. A's trail 9-7. They need the ball back and a goal in a hurry, but they'll need to dislodge it from Matthew Boissonneau first. Easier said than done. Harrison, Alex Pace going to work on him. Possession call will go to Whitby. And that's all, folks. 9-7 is your final. Carter Zavitz with four goals and an assist for the Athletics. Graydon Hogg and Devin Pfeiffer with four points each for the Warriors, who have now won all three games at home so far this season. Yeah, uh, they're a great team. So, uh, big team win, I think. Um, good to get a win. Uh, after a sweep against um, the Beaches last week, I think coming in and showing uh, the league that we can be up in top five, even the top two teams in the league, so it was a pretty good win. Yeah, for sure. Like Some kids are still at school right now, so getting the early wins are big. Um, we're still missing Cookie, who's a big player on our team, so when he gets back, it's going to be huge on the offense. Uh, but yeah, getting the early wins is big for our team, and uh, let's hopefully keep it rolling. Um, I mean, I think just going in that, with that mindset, just, hey, make that save, make that save. I mean. Uh, Latrell Harris is a pretty good player. He came down there. He's got a lot of experience. So, I mean, maybe he's thinking that was a little wider there, but uh, got a good save on him. Uh, went the other way, so it was a good kill for our boys. I mean, it means a lot. I mean, taking these two points is uh, something that we need. I mean, we don't get very too many at the uh, start of the year, so uh, we'll take when we can get them. And it definitely helps come playoff time. I mean, home floor advantage is big, like you said. Uh, we want to defend our home floor, and that's something we got to keep going with. And uh, people should be kind of spooked when they come play us on, uh, in the Iroquois Pad 1.